Welcome back to the Sci-Fi Wire live stage here at New York Comic Con. Second day and it's been going great here. My name is Mike Avila and I host behind the panel on Sci-Fi. And I'm joined by two of my favorite comic book creators because you guys always seem to have a lot of fun at conventions. Brian Michael Bendis. And writer and artist extraordinaire, Pat Gleason. Now, I was going to introduce you guys as a creative uh, part of the Superman creative team, except there's some news and it's shifted and you guys are, are working on something else. But let's talk about the Man of Steel here. Um, Brian, you came on board and you've had a really ambitious uh, makeover of the Superman uh, franchise, so to speak. Uh, Pat, you were on board before. Uh, you guys synced up really quickly and really started putting out some great stories and you're seeing it in action comics where we're at now. We're in, I think, uh, 1003 just came out. Yeah, 1003, which was um, uh, an issue where we get a little deeper into what's going on in Metropolis, in the, in the crime-infested world of Metropolis. Yeah, with the Illuminati. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's like an invisible mafia. There's, there's this group of criminals who have been just milking Metropolis underneath Superman's nose, what we discovered for years. Now, we're, we're going to find out who is it, how could they do it, and really, it's, it's the first time Superman's been up against an egoless villain. Like, they don't need his attention. They don't need to defeat him. They don't, like, Lex Luthor needs Superman to, like, give him, like, value, right? These guys are like, nope. And, and so coming up against that is something Superman's never come up against. Pat, tell me, as the artist who's working on, on this book, uh, drawing Superman and the stories that Brian's telling, has it been different than the other Superman stories you were telling beforehand? Oh yeah, it was a, it was a huge shift. Uh, you know, just just in the landscape. You know, going from very rural and uh, you know the countryside to to urban and metropolis. And Brian had you know a, a lot of great ideas about how Metropolis was going to be portrayed. And I think we synced up really well. You know, and obviously with with Ivan uh, Reese, you know, working on the Superman book uh, in developing kind of this this familiar but new feeling metropolis and this this band of new villains and the mis the mystery surrounding them and, and and a new challenge for superman and you know something interesting happened with me and pat is that um i've always loved pat's work and he was on my short list of oh if i get to go to dc you know like like it was like pat and like ryan sook like a lot of the people i'm working with wow. right now like i was really like i hope i i hope you're gonna make him blush i know no, wow. but like it, you get to a certain age where there's something in someone's work where you think i bet we'd get along i, I bet this would be like but yep. i've been wrong but like you, you, you and that's a perfect segue to what no, i was gonna on. ask you about was yeah. no but when i tell you is that so we're working on action comics and as i'm getting to really get in the groove i also realize He's been in this groove with someone else. He had a very powerful collaboration with this character. Like, so I'm like, I like our collaboration, but Superman was you and Pete. Like, the, him and Pete, that, that's your thing, right? So I, when this uh, new thing was come along, Young Justice, I, I, I said, I know we've only been doing a couple, but I think I want to take this and build our own You guys thing. have heard about that, right? They're doing a new Young Justice comic for the new imprint under DC that you're curating, yeah. Wonder Comics. Yeah, I'm writing Pat's um, storytelling and our artist, and we have um, a whole list of characters that people have been really dying to come back. Connor Kent, and it was so... Yeah. Yeah, so hilariously, oh, we've been working on this for months. Every day, I get hit with a hashtag, bring back Connor Kent, and I, and like, like every four hours, and I like, and I'm like, I just, I wish, I, I wish we could trust people on the internet, so I could like DM them, going, don't worry about yeah, it, don't worry, but yeah. you can't trust yeah. people on the internet. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, watching, yeah. and we're, we're, we know. Yeah. So we got Connor, Impulse, and Robin, and uh, one of my favorite Robin runs is Pat's Robin run. So it's bringing all the stuff I, I love into one book, all the stuff that Pat loves into one book. Pat is bringing new characters w into the book with us. So. Yes, you were telling me backstage about the new character. Tell me about the, one of the new characters we're going to see in Young Justice. Uh, the, well, Teen Lantern, right? Yeah, Teen Lantern uh, is, is a, a, a woman, a, a young woman in Bolivia who figures out a way to hack the power battery. She's not a super genius. She just figured out this one thing, right? And, she, and it's just a matter of time before someone f finds out what she's doing and how she's doing it, and, and tr trouble's coming. But we have this... A uh, new character, Teen Lantern, and I, I love this name so much. I literally, I, I never told you this, but I go, uh, um, 
I went to my kids, I go, we have a new character called Teen Lantern. And my, my seven-year-old daughter goes, <laughs> Teen Lantern. And I go, that's it, we're calling it, that's, that's the name. That's it. Yeah, yeah. and so, uh, and the other character we're really excited about is Ginny Hex. And yeah. Ginny is the great, 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 great granddaughter of Jonah Hex. And she did not know who Jonah Hex is, had no idea her relation to any of it. Her mother dies, and she inherits this old Western trunk full of DC memorabilia and artifacts, none of which she knows what they are. So it's a little bit like Jonah Hex meets the greatest American hero, where like this, this character is all these things and they that's don't know how to great, do them. That's a yeah. great description of a comic. Okay, we're running out of time and I wanna get you guys to play our game, Roll for Question, right. where roll the dice and we're gonna ask you a question corresponding to the number on the dice. All right, you wanna roll it? Go for it. All right. Two. 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 It, okay. it always goes to two, so this is bullshit. <laughs> Think of the children, Brian. I was close. I was close. If you were fighting crime, would you banter with the criminals, or are you more the silent punching type? Oh, I would banter. I, I, I yeah. Is that surprising? I don't know. <laughs> I would be the silent puncher, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I would, would I would. Well. My favorite thing is, uh, uh, the, the only thing I miss writing Spider-Man is just Peter just riding somebody with verbally that that's like he, the punches aren't it's it's you're stop making fun of me yeah, yeah. yeah. Pat, all right all right let's gonna roll it here ten. ten let's see what we got you're ah. stuck in a desert island what inanimate object do you hope becomes your best friend okay. <laughs> you're stuck in a desert island what inanimate object do you hope becomes your best friend and what do you name it What an animate an object. object. Come on, this, guys, you guys are writers. I feel this is revealing way more about I myself than I feel like doing on a stage with a microphone. What I feel if, like this is, you're asking a lot here, I think. What inanimate object would I have with me on yeah. an island? That's. You're a writer, Pat, not I just know, an artist. Right. You can uh, come up with something. No, it's my phone, and I call it help, and I dial it, and there then I go. get off there the There you go. That's cheating. Dial it okay, oh, but, but a good cheat. Uh, yeah, that was, okay. <laughs> Last one, one more roll of the dice. Right. 20, 20. 20. That, it's the last question in the, in the chart. Let's say it's Final Jeopardy, and the scores are all tied. What are you hoping the category is? Comic books. That would be definitely a second for me, yeah. That's your only go-to category? Um, uh, Baking shows? Right now, uh, Legion of Superhero Trivia. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we let you go, when can we expect uh, the first issue of Young Justice? Uh, January, and it's, a, it's a, a big first issue. You're gonna meet all the characters. Everyone's in it. Amethyst, Impulse, Robin, uh, yeah. uh, Ginny. Uh, everyone's in, in the first issue, and you get to find out what's going on with everybody. And. Um, the the storyline involves the invasion of Gemworld. Gemworld invades Metropolis, and we get to see a whole new Amethyst and all that coming for people who love that. It, I, this is such a crazy idea. Like I, I was so excited when he told me about that. I said we're gonna do this, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be the best Gemworld ever. Is it a fair comparison to say that Wonder Comics is kind of your version of the Ultimate line for DC? It allows uh, me the opportunity to continue the themes that we were doing in the Ultimate line, just, you know, young characters at that moment of discovery of who they really are and what the world's really like. But these are completely different characters, so they have completely different stories and, uh, and agendas and wants and needs and, and passions. So I get to continue my life's journey writing this, but with Connor and, 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 and Tim and uh, Bart and uh, Kathy, and it's it's... They have completely different voices than the ones I've written before, and it really is inspiring, like, new stuff out of me. I'm really excited. Well, we're looking forward to it. Brian Bendis, Pat Gleason, give Thank it up for him, guys. folks. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget, keep following all the fun here at hashtag NYCC and also hashtag It's a Fan Thing. And, guys, coming up next year on the live stage, we have, oh, my gosh, we have a reunion of the cast from Boy Meets World. Wow. So stick around and don't go anywhere. I'm Jackie Jennings with Sci-Fi Wire. If you can't get enough of New York Comic Con, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel for news, interviews, cosplay, and so much more. What are you waiting for?